um, with uh, there is some some echo. So I press the button and I say, oh, this is the third lecture and uh, we will um, speak today about open source intelligence. I will give you a very brief overview for two reasons. We don't have time and it's 100% out of your box, I, think, I mean, out of your references. Because it's a topic, it's a subtopic of communication studies. Uh, but it can be connected with uh, today's world and today's geopolitical blah blah, but it's not a geopolitical lecture. Then on the second part, if we have enough time, we will do a small workshop on your um, own um, uh, topic. It's your, your master thesis, your, 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 your assignment. Well, um, because open source data is, uh, for world literature, these two worlds are not connected because if you only browse on databases, academic databases, you know this already. So you know how to find literature on your databases. So I give you a, a, a real communication study, a communication studies approach on open source intelligence. So First, when we uh, d this is a this is a, a full-time job. Uh, this is a full-time job in in, uh, in many countries, even in India too. Uh, I've had a chance to meet someone doing this activity in uh, in New Delhi, uh, mostly for corporations, and there is also a sub-activity uh, for uh, academic research and another sub-activity for, uh, uh, let's say. Um, um, uh, preserving the interest of one state. So when we have a, uh, it's, it's a, a, just a very brief slide on methodology, nothing new, it's for research. Identifying the subject uh, means um, developing the analysis based on your reading, so nothing new, just research. To be aware uh, of, uh, 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 of its culture, and I like the, the, the third one is um, uh, critical thinking consists of suspending one's judgment to take time to build ideas and opinions. So many students, when they are young, they, they, we can recognize very rapidly their point of view while they are, when they are doing, their, uh, they are doing their, their master thesis. And the good quality for a researcher, for MA student, and then for a PhD student, and then for a professional uh, teacher is to, to make a, to suspend its judgment, and then to look clearly at the point from different angles, and to put aside is a, its own perception, its own opinion as a citizen. It's very important for research. I, have, I was trained as an anthropologist. It's my first, I have first an um, um, MA in marketing, and then I was not very interested, and I decided to do an MA in anthropology. And anthropology, exactly like this, I suspend my judgment. Because if I look to India or to uh, Bangladesh or to Indonesia with my framework on uh, uh, the French, I will uh, impose a view or I will not see uh, some details. And that's the way to traveling and to interculturalism, which is another topic. Okay, and also some students miss to work on a clear hypothesis. Because some students say, Yes. Yeah, I think to my student in Lille, some of them are trained into political sciences and they don't, they don't, they make a statement, like a discourses, which is not real research. And I urge them to take, to, 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 to walk back and to bore a board of you. And I know the problem comes from my colleagues. <laughs> we train him like this. This is another topic. But some t mostly in some, I don't know about in literature or in languages, but at least in political sciences, because we work, we mix our passion or our point in the world with our studies, which sometimes give opinion more than a report. And I train my student, not here, but I train mostly my student to do a professional document, which could be read by a teacher or a journalist or someone which is able to have its own opinion on this document. Okay, 
So I like this slide, and I have not too much, too much time. The difference between, uh, between explaining and uh, understanding. It's quite technical. But it's, uh, we, we are lacking of time because of some detail, but quantitative research, qualitative research. We are in the, we are in the US, UK uh, um, perspective, heritage from India. And the trends in the US Anglo-Saxon world is qualitative, quantitative research with data, 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 and data. Of course, numbers are, are, uh, are glorified, but sometimes we miss some uh, more uh, qualitative insight, which, oh, I have felt that, I have explained that, I have experienced that. If you are doing something on world literature, you can gather data, you can do text mining, you can do uh, open source intelligence, but also you can put some of your experience or some of your analysis, which give more qualitative research. Uh, difference between deduction and adductions. Maybe they were trained about that? Analytical, more holistic. Uh, in, the, in deductions, you make a deduction of facts. Uh, the, the blue is sky because of blah, 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 blah. Induction, I say, oh, I think it's blue. Maybe it's because of, yeah. it's two different angles to see the questions. And frankly speaking, most of you are, are coming from a um, UK heritage, to make it short, not Indonesia. And not, not Thailand, it's more complicated. But UK heritage is based on facts. You, the, 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 UK, the UK culture is very pragmatic, okay. But now, they force, in, in the academic world, they force us, us as a, uh, uh, I mean, Latin people from the, from, the, from the south of Europe to use qualitative data. And if, if, if I propose an article as a French with, it's more qualitative, I say, oh, not enough data. It's not scientific. So, we don't have time. Searching for objective elements because of sciences, recognition of subjectivity. Okay, I give my point of view on that. You give your point of view on this literature, on this uh, book, on this text. So you assume to do it. But when you say, I assume to, to do it, the reader, which is us, say, okay, he has text the, the student, the student has some distance. Reproductions, ideal type, generalizations, Observer concerned with independence, researcher as a participant, like anthropologist, testing a theory, building a theory, separation, similarity, descriptive function of science, description of, uh, let's say, we are in social sciences, which is mostly here. And here it's mostly uh, hard sciences, like uh, uh, if, uh, if you speak with someone which is in doing in, in chemical research, it's, just yes, just procedures, which is normal, but we have to. We have, sometimes we have to resist as a as a, as a profession. When, when sometimes the university is managed by a, a scientist like this, social sciences not here, but social sciences may be uh, under pressure. Well, we don't have time. OSINT. Now let's go to OSINT. OSINT is the acronym for Open Source Intelligence. There is an old term which is called competitive intelligence. We forget this. I am teaching this topic since 90, uh, since 2000, so for 25 years. It's a legal activity. It's a legal activity. So there is nothing done illegally. So we are not under the, the intelligence service. I don't know the, the name of the Indian intelligence service but we've got the famous FSB or the Guo, Guo Hanbu from China that allows you to methodically probe the depth of the nest, the, on the net. Only freely accessible data is analyzed. Hacking methods are not used at all. If it's hacking, then it could be considered as illegal, covered by law. But I, beware, if you, if you look at one website, or if you look at one uh, data base with subscription, it's not illegal because you have to pay. And paying is, is, a, is a commercial market. If we look at some, uh, uh, let's say, uh, for world literature to um, uh, an, uh, um, 
uh, a critic, very famous critic in India or in France or in uh, Indonesia. He's very famous. You can monitor his Twitter account. You, may, you can monitor his Facebook account. It's not illegal. It just it, it, he's, a, he's a public person. He assumed to point to make some set, some statement. So that's not illegal. Hello. OSINT, another dimension, I will, I will be too rapid on that. While OSINT can serve justice and the public interest, individual organizations can use this, this method for malicious purposes. So as OSINT as a framework of supporting justice and democracy. There, I, I've made an article, I will do an article, but I've made a case on Ukraine. We will see something very brief but it's not connected with this subject here. So this, this is the south. Let's go to the next one. I feel under time pressure. Okay. OSIN constitutes a new regime of truth that relies on the study of traces to establish evidence that support a demonstrative and explanatory logic to respond to disinformation. So we are at the, cross, at the crossroad of information have investigative journalism, which uh, uh, here a famous newspaper in, in it's called Outlook. It's Outlook is still existing, and Caravan is still existing. Caravan. Yes, yes, Caravan. Yes. So this is two model of journalism of investigation in India, and also sometimes from activist investigation. What do I mean by activist in investigation? I mean that oh. I want to support this cause. In that case, I will create my own website and do my own research and then maybe connect with some other ones at the, at the world level or at, at the regional level. It depends. So like the journalist or like the researcher, because there is very thin um, uh, uh, difference between a journalist and a researcher. I consider yourself as a researcher. We three uh, uh, academics, we are researchers first. Enfin, this is my point of view. We teach, sometimes we put teaching in the front, sometimes research in the front, but to succeed to academic standards, we are first researcher. Researcher and journalist is the same, the goal is different. So, oh, this discern truth from falsehood, evaluating source according to the idea of single source unjust source, mean unfair, and evaluating consistency. If, you, if someone told you one element about, oh, the sky is blue, so there is no debate about that. But uh, uh, someone told me about uh, the university here in BR, it's called Nalanda, is very famous. Okay, it could be a statement. Then the, the a good researcher may want to have to to have more data to, 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 to structure this idea. Uh, maybe I, I won't we'll take the, the example of Nananda, but uh, let's say one university in Surabaya. I am supposed to go in one university in Surabaya. I don't know the name of this university. It's not clear in my mind yet for it's for July. And uh, this university is very good because they organize a comment. But according to which criteria, for which region, uh, maybe they are so famous in computer that I don't care, or so famous for medical that I don't care. Or maybe they have a very, very good um, uh, social manager account, which make only promotion, 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 that it increase the average number of people who, who, who tweet and, or to share the idea that this university is good. So I'm not challenging this, but it's, it's the idea to uh, wait for different element to have a stable opinion on one point, but that, it takes time. And we will, no, we will never do that for everything. The quality of the food of the restaurant will, take, will not take three years to, to challenge it. The quality of transportation in France or in Indonesia we will not challenge it for three, three, three years. But when it's for data, when it's for research, when it's for publicing, publishing something on the uh, on the, on the air level, that's what you say? Yeah. On a higher level or as a journalist or as a researcher, we have to care. Otherwise, we became uh, um, op-ed. Op-ed, we say so? Opinion editor? 
we, we, we became journalists open. Huh? Opinionated. Huh? Or, or we just make statements. Yeah. Then we became a, an activist. Yeah. You may be an activist. Maybe in Bhutan you want to support uh, something. You became an activist. Why not? But on the other dimension, you may also be a researcher. I, I invite us not to merge the two. And that's why the, the rigor here is important. Uh, put into perspective what is useful to the reader. You are speaking to someone. And when you write an article, it's the same than when you write a book. We are speaking to someone. Exercise judgment and offer expertise, which is more professional oriented. If we, if we are recruited into one uh, enterprise, and then the, your boss told you, make a report on the, such a topic in five pages. Oh, OK, it's a small report. It's like a matter of thesis. And it's a challenge not to give your opinion, but to give uh, some document which is uh, reliable for the reader. Re re reliable, reliable for the reader. OK, very brief. Nothing new. OSINT asks for information from academic sources, OK? Conference or events, social and human network. Very important. So academic sources, we know. You know, the, 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 maybe there is a very famous database for world literature. I don't know it. I know very famous database of DOGA and GSTOR. You have it here? I'm sure. Uh, this is a world famous one. But each type of source has advantages and disadvantages. So, conference. Oh, there is a there is a, a, a board in the in the hall about. Uh, uh, I seen someone about uh, there's a, a, a Nalanda University about uh, uh, Rajgir and uh, connected to Buddhism and something like that. Oh, I may grab an information on that, then follow the link, then follow the players, who will organize it, and then up I enter into more specialized loop. Okay, uh, and social and human network, social network. Okay, we've got uh, Facebook, uh, X, Instagram, and what else now? <laughs> so, who has Facebook in that room? No one. That's normal. Who has a uh, uh, X account, Twitter account, X account? No one. You have? You don't use Instagram? Only? It's not 100%. Normally it's 100% into that generation. One, one grand. Who is active on Instagram? Okay. Cultural differences. And uh, so, yes, uh, YouTube is not a social media. Uh, huh? Oui, but you watch something. You don't. You don't put any comment. You don't put any like. You don't. You say. Ah, she put content. As you are. You are the next influencer in. So the next influencer in Bangladesh. No. How many followers? One twenty-four. One twenty-four. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, okay, what's the next? Uh, pa, pa, pa. So, do you know Mastodont? Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's try to compete. It's try to emerge against after the the, the uh, social uh, after that after Elon Musk uh, uh, has bought uh, X. Uh, and what's the next one? Snapchat? No. No, it's very no. And ah, the last one, TikTok. Oh, with a TikTok account. Huh? Ben in India? Yeah. Ah, yeah, from, from several years too. Yeah. In Bangladesh, it exists? Yeah, it is. Indonesia? Yes, yes. Argentina? Yeah. Bhutan? Thailand? Yes. And Sri Lanka. But you don't have any uh, TikTok account. You're too old? <laughs> All my students from 20 to 25 in, in, in Brussels and in Paris and in Lille have a TikTok account and Instagram account. The other ones, they don't care. So, uh, why do I, first is to know your, your, your activity, then um, 
this could be a source of information, but we, we have to remain very, very critical today because since five years, it has been, it has been, it has, all the, this media, I don't know about Instagram, but TikTok has been um, undermined by uh, 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 states to, prom to promote their ID, mostly Chinese states. Okay, have you heard about Factiva? Have you heard about Factiva? Okay. Alors, it's only on subscription. Uh, don't, if the university don't have the subscription, you may not access because it's very expensive. But it's an incredible database of 90,000 newspapers in the world. 90,000 newspapers in all the languages. For example, I have made an article. I download articles from four, I speak four languages. So I download articles on one topic. I choose four newspapers one of each languages. I, don't, I choose one topic, I download all the articles, and there was 700 articles for a certain period, and then I have my database. And I read the article on one topic. Let's take an example on world literature. Uh, Mahabharata, for example, or, uh, or uh, Mahas, Mahamsa. Huh? Oh, Maham. Mah Mahamsa, okay. Uh, I take a certain period, I take different newspaper and I download the database on that. So what do I have? I have the reflect of what the newspaper are talking on this topic. And it's, I, uh, I argue this is a part of reality because if the newspaper speaks about it, we may criticize this newspaper. Let's say here, we may criticize this newspaper here, this one and not this one. But at least we have an overview. So, this is also connected with the topics, but if we speak about Mahabharata or another topics, we, we have a, a way to gather information which go beyond academic information and which may uh, 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 besides social media. Huh? Yeah, you can, you can use a, yeah. You, you can find good alternatives. For example, I've made an article on the on Guru Rinpoche. Mm -hmm. During the lockdown, uh, I have monitored different accounts which were using, which were taking in the name of Guru Rinpoche, which is strange. But there is account which taking taking in the name of Jesus Christ. Why not? And I have seen, I have made critical analysis of this account by downloading articles. You see how it works. So it's possible for your topic to do that. I invite you, in that, in, that, in that sense, I invite you to go beyond academic sources and to, to have a better overview of your topic. So if we had time for, it's a joke, but for another, another week, we may spend a whole session on your topic by going beyond. So we will try to do that after at the second part, what's going on? The AC huh? team. <laughs> <laughs> they, have a, they, have <laughs> they have a subscription. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, rapidly. Welcome. <laughs> Rapidly, it's not really related to world literature. It's more for uh, communication study or something like that. But you, uh, you may have institution, institutional websites like the your, like your uh, official we, official website. You may have uh, uh, huh? you may have studies by public institutions uh, in PDF version, free to download. It's it's another ID. You may have annual reports, mostly for enterprises, corporations. What is here is important, interview and experts. This you can find again on social media or on the press releases, on press articles. So you combine and uh, uh, according, this is my new methodology of research, it helps to give a broader image of the topic than only academic sources. 
but we have to be guided by the professors in order to not to make too much choices. Otherwise, the topic became a PhD, in, even so. Fair and exhibition, you are not concerned by that, but in the fair in Alanda is not so. <laughs> it's for in 10 years, maybe, but in, if you live in Delhi or in Mumbai, you can, go, you can go to a book fair. Why not? And I was thinking myself to go to the book fair in, in Brussels to monitor what's, what was uh, on my topic, what's one, what's, what was uh, um, trendy, to find new. So you take one day, you go to a book fair, but you, you, don't, you don't go to a book fair as a, as a, as a consumer, but as a researcher. I thought, oh, there is this book on that. I didn't know that. Oh, there is this uh, uh, editor. I didn't know that. And then you gather information. It takes time, and it depends on our location. And also, I don't know here, but in Europe, it's now allowed to quote Wikipedia. It's allowed here? No, in, in, in Europe, it became allowed. It changed. It was forbidden at the beginning of Wikipedia as another topic. Uh, Wikipedia is not allowed to be used by students by quoting it. Because one of the miracles of Wikipedia, they were not, uh, they succeed to maintain their clarity, their, uh, their quality, and their uh, sourcing. They were not. Um, Yeah, but, but they were not... Uh, huh? Il n'y a, a pas eu d'intrusion. There was no intrusion. It's not allowed? Yeah, but we we agree. We agree at least in, in Europe. We agree to the students to, to, to quote Wikipedia as a back, back, back basic entry for one topic. No, here, uh, well, we can do it, and we do it. But the basic entry for the topic, but uh, not for any academic article. Yeah. We can use for presentation. Yeah, for example. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Ah. Some, some fresh air for the Himalaya. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, any questions? To sum up this very, uh, do that in, uh, in 30 minutes. Any questions on what we have seen? So, this, this, this presentation quite short, but you are already uh, well trained, uh, uh, invite you uh, to, uh, to two things. Maintain the rigor of academic thinking. Maintain the rigor of citizen thinking, because we are both students and citizens. Not to, f to, s to, to follow the past line of populism or fake news and stuff like that. This is my deep belief. The second one is invitation to open yourself to different sources in order to enrich uh, your academic uh, work. And it became slowly a new methodology. I have made some uh, research article in my field that people are gathering data to social media, they are gathering interview from on site, they are, ga they are gathering uh, academic articles and they mix it up. And I, you, I introduce something more, which is uh, indexes, but I don't have time. So this 30 minutes, very brief, is an invitation to say that open source is a field in itself, and open source um, could be, um, uh, uh, as a researcher, we can um, enlarge uh, our different sources uh, to, uh, to enrich uh, our topic. So, we finish at 1, right? One, one fifteen. So, I go rapidly to the... Um, I skip some elements. 
for example, this is a, an enterprise in Brussels which is specialized by doing this work, but for political issues. Uh, here, as a, this is more about disinformation. I go, I finish by that. Uh, um, so I finish by an illustration of OSINT, and then we do the workshop. So um, I have made a, I was, I've been asked to do something about the image of uh, the war in Ukraine, and I propose some uh, contribution about OSINT in Ukraine to see how it can serve different activities. Okay, it's far from world literature. Of course, and it's, it's a first war ever 100% digital. So all the different protagonists daily publish online. So all this data can be gathered for different elements. Of course, you have heard of Telegram channel, which is very famous in, in, in Russia. Video, image, sounds to investigate, report, and complement the work of the media. This is new, because the journalists do that, but they are, not have, they, they, they are lacking of resources. So some activists collect digital sources, or even citizens have seen many reportage now. It's the same in Gaza. Huh? It's the same in Gaza. Citizens take some, some uh, use their phone and send it to a securized database to prove something later, to investigate something later. And the, the both sides are doing the same, the pro and the anti. It's the same case in Gaza for the israel Hamas war than for the Russian-Ukraine war. The protagonists are gathering data by any means for something, for later. And it's done by individuals, for their own purposes, by NGO, by foundations, or rarely on the field by think tanks, for various statuses. Both, mostly of them uh, uh, as, uh, assume their de demo democratic approach. So this is technical and uh, collecting, and it's very well documented, at least, um, at least for the Ukraine war, for collect collecting of events for war crimes, trial, with a debate on acceptability, accounting for material losses to dispel the fog of war and the frame of belligerence. So now the data are gathered for showing what's going on the field and for future uh, uh, trial. It's new because it was before. Because of what? Because ten years before, the data was uh, all this um, um, technical data of the war. Where in the where they're in the hand of the army, of the intelligence. Now it's on the field. You just take this phone, and you, you download it on a secure <coughs> because you you download it on a, a secure data center abroad, and then it became it may become an evidence. So we are entering a new phase. Syria war was not like this. For the first time, it's Ukraine Russian war and Israel Hamas war. So I have give you two examples. So here, this is a web website called C4ADS. Uh, it's, it's just a copy. And uh, here, if we browse on the website, on the map, we saw every missile which arrived in, in Ukraine. So there is a, a geolocalization on every missile. And behind this uh, geodata, there is an image which was taken by one citizen or one military. And it became a database to show where the missiles, are, uh, the rockets are going to, to, do, to document the war. Alors, then it asked many questions of who is behind that? Of course. Where, where does it come from? Where the money comes from? Of course. What are the intentions? We have, as a researcher, we have to raise these questions. But it exists, and it's new, because of OSINT. Okay? Let's do, this one is a more, uh, uh, is, uh, the, the image is not too brutal, but the, the topic is, is, uh, is related to war. Uh, this one is a website called Oryx. I don't know why. And uh, uh, 
each image of one destroyed uh, armed vehicle, which is proved, which is geolocalized, which is proved, is put from both sides, is put on the website. I have brought on that, which is not so positive to see tanks, destroyed tanks, but I've brought on that website, and you've got thousands of thousands of thousands of images with the number of each, you know that each uh, uh, vehicle has a number. Each, uh, uh, there is a serial, huh? Unique, exactly as uh, this phone. Unique identifying number. So the number is put on the database, the photo is put on the database for, for in that case, monitoring the losses of the both camp. In, in, incredible. But it gives, it, 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 what, what's the purpose to? Uh, 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 you know, during the war, no one says that there is some losses. The, the loss are always on the other side. And in that case, as a journalist, I can, oh, there is a, each number here in that line, here in that column, and then I can challenge the information provided by the official government. That's a new role of a synth. And there is a, something which is a, have you heard about, so we are far from law literature, but I, I hope you agree. Have you heard about The Hague? Where is The Hague? The, where is The Hague? And what is in The Hague? What is the part, one of the particularity in The Hague? Here's a place. It's in the Netherlands, right. What is a, it is a, it's the capital of the Netherlands, but not only. For historical reasons, there is two important elements. The International Court of Justice and another, uh, another uh, court, I don't remember the name, and also the uh, Tribunal for uh, International Tribunal for something I don't remember. Why do I speak about that? Because some people, some, 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 some protagonists, I conclude my OSIN case before going to your topic. Uh, some protagonists are downloading database not about tanks, but database on violation, violation of human rights according to the, the right of war, the law of war. You know there is some law for wars, you don't, uh, you don't uh, 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 you don't uh, use a rape, you don't, uh, f uh, you don't uh, 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 put people on torture, you don't kill the civilians, there is a, there is a law. So the, this NGO are putting a database, documenting uh, all the cases, and I've read something which is around maybe 10,000, 10, uh, no, 100,000, 100,000 cases which are in two databases for later to, 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 uh, to, to, to use this element as a evidence for trials. It's a really new, it's really new. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, ICG uh, receives the full cooperation from European prosecutor and the full cooperation for Ukrainian uh, government. Because one day they want to, 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 to show what the Russian army has done to its civilians, which could be uh, understand understandable. Uh, and so, so I don't take sides for, for that topic, but I just show the most uh, 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 visible approach of OSIN today. We are far, but I saw that I show you that it exists. And so, to, to conclude before the case, yeah, uh, willingness to allow the, be, us be in front of information, uh, the willingness to cite opportunity, oh, there is, a, oh, there is a new information, I grab it. It could be useful for my career, it could be useful for one book, it could be useful for something. Uh, confidence in one ability, openness to different opinions, but as a multicultural uh, 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 room here or audience, it should be normal. Uh, flexibility to consider the opinion of others, according, uh, accord, uh, oh, 
acknowledging one's own bias, after stemming from one's culture and belief. That's normal. We have all of us. We have a culture and belief, and also caution and special suspension of judgment. So it's very brief. Uh, do you have any question about that, or any debate, or any consultation? Yeah. The uh, argumentative Indian, <laughs> Amatraya Sen. Absolutely. So, uh, how, if, if we take that as a kind of, you know, um, uh, concrete evidence, is it because we cannot take that as concrete evidence, and we, if, and, and, and because if, if it is just, if, if it's just a kind of a, a play to work for rationality, you know, uh, then anyone can have their own rational based on these evidence. Yeah, that's true. But on that, our first uh, possibility of manipulation, sure. No, no, because I have an answer for that. Possibility of manipulation for, on data, of course, like the WikiLeaks, and, uh, and, or uh, hacking the database. But now we know how to do. And we, the Europeans are aware of the Russian uh, um, uh, intrusions. But as the second one, second one, you remember yesterday. You remember yesterday, I was writing here, pacified international order through the UN. This is a framework to do that. This is a similar framework to do that. I argue and I assume that there is an international framework which is composed of laws which were decided by the member state of the UN. In, in that case, you don't agree. In that case, especially in, if we take the case for, for if we take both cases as a Hamas, Israel, Hamas, or Ukraine, Russia, laws is, are the, the guideline for every, uh, every participant. Let us look at the US Constitution. Okay, so the US has a So you 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 are you are saying that uh, the UN the UN is dominated by the US? Not just US, but the whole uh, the, the upper Western Hemisphere. Ah, so you are you are giving the traditional argument of uh, uh, um, um, uh, West, uh, Western dominance. I mean, it's not even if it's and, and you, modern, you, you are you are you are you have been trained in post-colonial studies. Yeah, yeah, George Orwell. So, 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 so there's a concept of double think. You see, double think means this is right, this is also right at the same time. And I think this world is uh, is of double think. People, unless we can take two different perspectives um, joined by some logic, uh, we cannot uh, find this pacifying kind of body. You see, like, the problem is that to have this only. So you, you, are, you are arguing that there is two different standards in the world and that the global south is not recognized by the western eye, by the, no, west, no, the west. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that uh, earlier, before this uh, digital globalization, there was a level of uh, there was countries and within that country there were academia where the, uh, where the literature was used, not literature in that sense, literature, but the uh, academic discourse was used among the people of that country. Now because the world has become connected, the, um, how to say, the, the amount of literature available has become wide, yeah, fast, and? And, and to assume that we have some formula to have control over that is just, um, I think, uh, human cannot control uh, the digital. It is beyond human approach to control digital. Yeah, but I don't see the connection of this second part of your argument with the first part of your argument. 
You were starting with a, we were starting about uh, the UN and the Western dominance, and now you are speaking about the, uh, the amount of information. Okay. Uh, I, I don't want to, be to take too much time into that direction because you connect, you connect two different levels. Why not? We cannot get into that discussion because that discussion is, is that discussion very important but it's beyond human capacity. And that's why we will always be stuck in this discussion. No. When there is some war crimes or civil crimes, there is a law and we go to the court and we make a trial. This is my clear opinion on fact and figure. We may contest the court, like the, some countries don't, 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 doesn't, uh, um, uh, doesn't uh, not register, but doesn't um, undersign uh, the, 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 the efficiency of the, of the court. But there is international order, there is international laws, which are agreed by states. In that case, states should follow the rules. Exactly with, as we are into a family. We have to follow the, the rule of the father, or at least the rule of the global family, to live together. This is my point of view. In a, in a very special case of not international order, but in the spe two special case of Austin, are these two wars which are running today in front of our eyes. You, 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 make, uh, you connect two different ideas, and I have no time to discuss the, the two connections. The first one is global order and laws. The second one is too much information to gather on a, on a, on a, on a common public opinion. Is there an, an other, any topic? I don't want to stop you, but we are running of time. Another contribution? Yes. So people do that. But then banks take this new uh, way of transaction. Yes. Uh, I think these open sources sometimes, you know, they are developers and I think it's very good and very useful. But then, you know, they are also some parts are taking yes. advertising for the uh, I agree I agree with you and it's you then I agree with you, and it's called capitalism. Yeah, yeah, because they, they, they just, you know... That's, uh, that's okay. The, the, bit, the, the, the Bitcoin, is a, the story of the Bitcoin is like that. It will start as, a, as, a, as something which was alternative, and it, then it, was, it became mainstream, and it was integrated by banks, and it's now used by China to, to, to counter uh, US, U.S. imperialism, as they say. Another topic? Don't do a debate together. <laughs> Another contribution? No? Well, to sum it up rapidly, it's uh, a little bit too short, but uh, we, I, I, make a, a, I make a pop up on OSINT. So you came back, uh, you finished your day, which is not over. You finish this session with the, uh, the existence of OSINs for two different activities. The first one is for research, to open different angles to research. The second one is to be, let's say, activism with a case of monitoring some two wars in order for international dis justice despite the existing of the existing international order. But at least there is law. Yeah, that's good. Good to do that. 
So now uh, I uh, uh, so how can we do? So each student has a topic, right? As each of you has chosen one um, epic, and all the epic are different. So each of you has one epic. So I suggest uh, for, uh, for 30 minutes for you to find five different sources. Yeah, let's do like this. Five, dif five different sources outside academic uh, uh, database, which can be used for your, uh, uh, your work on one epic. So it's, applica applica uh, it's an application to do, your ep to do, uh, to do use OSINT online. So you have 30 minutes, then you can ask me questions. You have 30 minutes from now to find five different sources which are not academic database. For example, looking for one expert. Yeah, browsing on one, who, is the, who is the world leading expert on Mahabharata? I'm sure there is one. Where is he? <laughs> not in that room. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Huh? Whatever the expert will be, there is no judgment on the quality of the expert. But you should, uh, as a researcher, identify why, according to your eyes, he could be an expert. You see what I mean? There is a one, if it's an academic, you have to find it. You know, I have, I, I, tomorrow I will speak to you from another country. I have met a guy which is a, 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 he's speaking Karoshti. Have you heard about Karoshti? He knows everything. Karoshti is a dead language. From the fifth, from the from the from the two century BC. You heard about that? It's a dead language. It's a, it's a war, it's, there is still ten people in the world speaking Karoshti, like we are speaking English. So this is one guy. You, find, you don't find this guy because I have a name, but you find one guy about the specialist, and then you find, let's say, one website, but not academic, dealing with <coughs> Mahabharata or dealing with uh, your topic. Then you find one Twitter account and five different sources on your specialists, which are not academic databases. That's okay. Then I need a paper. It's too small, but I can use it. You put on this paper the name of your, um, you put your surname and the name of, it's more small, but I have, that's all I have it. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your contribution to the international world order. <laughs> you put your surname and you put your, uh, your uh, epic or your subject. Am I right? Is that okay? You, you see what I mean? Allez, let's do. And you feel has to ask me. You, you can have any question when you like. I will not put the screen on, but I have uh, made a uh, uh, world literature in my computer. Where do I find Xenforo? I don't know this website. Xenforo, X-E-N Foro. And I have put Mahabharata, and I have a uh, uh, three page of comments. Give you uh, just an idea in five minutes to put very basical terms in the computer and to, to open the door on something that I didn't, time, I didn't have time to uh, identify. Okay, now uh, you have done the job, but uh, now it's your time, it's your, 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 it's your time too, to uh, do your own contribution to fulfill the boxes. So I invite uh, each uh, student, one by one, to uh, uh, try to put some uh, elements here. And there is no judgment on the quality, there is no judgment on the relevance, there is no judgment if there is an anti-box. 
it's just a, it's just a try to open open minds, open activities. So who is going to uh, uh, first have this uh, beautiful uh, um, tool? Maybe in black? I have to write the... You have, I invite each of you to come to write the result on the blackboard. Something we can comment then, because what do you mean by how many? <laughs> no, I would like to have a, a one example of each category, if you succeed to that. Okay. One example of, of each category here. Or you say, sir, what I found doesn't go into that category. No important. It's, we are flexible. You are ready? No problem. No, Wikipedia is too broad. Wikipedia is too mainstream. Yeah, for example, I don't know nothing about uh, Gilgamesh. Okay, I open the door for for Gilgamesh. But you are a scholar working on Gilgamesh or Ramayana. You have to go deeper, more, more. Uh, yes, see. Wikipedia is a good entry to open a door on something. I go. I don't know nothing about uh, Indonesia. I go to the description of Indonesia on on on, on Wikipedia because it's not the official website of the government. Same for a book. And when you have the same, um, when you have the same, uh, because there is two or three Ramayana, you put you leave some room for your colleague. There is a two Ramayana. Does it work? Maybe to save time, someone can go also. Yes. In red? And in green? <laughs> the Mahabharata podcast. Good. We don't have time to challenge the quality of the sources. But otherwise, we may, so for example, ask to the student, why do you choose this one, that one? Who's next?
Thank you. Mm. It's too much, too much. Save the planet. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. For the for the blackboard, it's okay. It's incredible because we don't, as as far, uh, I don't have any reference. On what's on the blackboard? I don't have any references. I cannot say anything because I don't have the the, the framework. Après, on pourrait challenger les étudiants sur la qualité de ce qu'ils ont trouvé. De synth de, Ou de cours de, de leur bois littérature Oui, c'est toi qui le fais, c'est mieux. mieux. Moi, je vais leur parler deux minutes sur OSINT, comme quoi ils ont trouvé quelque chose en deux minutes. Donc, c'est la preuve que ça marche. Et après, tu fais la connexion avec leur littérature, c'est beaucoup mieux. Parce que euh, j'imagine que toi, pour les trucs indonésiens, t'as un peu de mal aussi. <rire> Great. Yeah. Allez, sur mon else. Il y a pain en missing. Ah, there is some other pain. Oula. Take care of it. Ah, one pen is free. What's next? Not working? Okay. So it was a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's try another one. Try all of them. Now th this one is a, a little bit destroyed by the. This one is okay. So we throw this away. Okay. One pen is free. One more Ramayana. Who is on Ramayana? Yes. Are they? Sri Lanka. You're on the scene. Who some, when someone put a, uh, you put a uh, uh, UNESCO? You, you are here? You are here. You are, you are here. You are fine, uh, uh, an Instagram account. Yes. On yes. that topic. Yes. Mohammedia is a big school of. Uh, big Muslim organization. Okay. Okay. 
So of course they have all the digital media. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you have a Okay, so you find easily all the information. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's but in that case, Ahmad Dahlan, if you told me, is a um, uh, modern day something. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. So it's more, um, it's more visible. Yeah. Oh. So we have to conclude. This uh, there is a free pen of an available pen. So come on, what's up? Who is missing? So your view is down. You, you. There is two Gilgamesh. Uh, so we create a new uh, column. No, but it's, you, it's difficult to read what you have written. Who is the second one on Gilgamesh? No, there is two. There is no dustbin in the in the. No, ah, there is one here. No, but we have a poubelle. Oh, no. Look. Les feutres. Ils sont foutus. C'est une logique indienne qui m'échappe. Mais ça, je peux. C'est la... Ah, là, je peux. Oh. So we're almost done. King Gezar doesn't show up. <laughs> he's on leave. <laughs> no, he's in Tibet. So he's not here, he's in Tibet. <laughs> Near Dugga, I went there. <laughs> That's you, uh, King Gaza. Hey, make it fast. So we'll take 10 minutes more for the conclusion. You have a lecture after that? Ah, the event, the, po the poetic event. You are ready to sing and dance? <laughs> it's not so... Exciting. <laughs> what do you to do? What do you need to do after this uh, master? But uh, a university teacher or high school? I like teaching children, so maybe they're uh, I also like to write, so maybe I also want to do that. Yeah, 
university. You have, you have more freedom in the university. You have more time, more freedom. And sometimes a better salary. It depends on your country. So we are down. Good. Almost down. Thank you. So it's time for the conclusion. First, so what do we have here? Of course we have letters, but we have a database. You create a database in 30 minutes. That's OSINT. When you have received guidelines, you receive uh, clues. We don't have. We we may have we may have one hour more for that, but that's going down. This is a database. One problem. So OSINT is easy to do. OSINT is open your mind to use on open sources. That's okay. And for your topic, it works. Whatever is the topic, it works. So there is one point here, which for me is totally strange. I am not able to comment any on the slides because it's out of my box, it's out of my world. So I cannot evaluate if this, uh, this funding is relevant or not. But that's not the problem. The problem, uh, my question was to, to deliver a result and to show you that it's quite easy to do. Then we may imagine that after that I ask uh, this person can you argue on that one? And then the students or the, or the people should argue. Can you argue on that one? Can you argue on that one? Why, in other words, why did you choose it? By hazard, by lack of time, or by uh, uh, relevance? Of course. <laughs> but at least I may challenge the students as a professional will challenge you. So you it's, it's, sometimes students don't realize that when we go outside uh, in, uh, in a practical in a world when we have a job, we are challenged by our boss. We are challenged by the member of the team. To, why did you choose this? And the capacity of a good researcher and a good professional and a good citizen is to argue why I have chosen this. <coughs> and to go beyond, uh, I was lacking of time. Or oh, I find it I find it fancy. Or oh, I find it easily. So to argue and it will be a very good game for you to uh, um, allow another idea for you. The students have to argue on five, three lines of on each element. Then to deliver a paper, then it helps you to formulate ideas and it helps us to evaluate the results. So this is my conclusion, and my colleagues will give you another conclusion connected with the world literature. What we have seen today is that research is possible whatever, whatever is the world, and that OSINT is a field which, which exists in itself. It's not dealing always with disinformation and black sides, there is also white sides. In other words, technology can be both. But we live in that world. Uh, uh, and you will be <laughs> challenged by the AI moment, like us. So it's an invitation to remain, to remain critical on whatever information you receive, whatever are your sources, whatever are your surrounding, whatever what you are what you're planning to do. This is part of the OSINT that we have done. Now, what is the purpose of this? Why should we do this? One part is that academic research in which we are continuously engaged. So that is fine. That, uh, that aspect is very important. 
But when we come from a traditional study of literature to this enhanced uh, evolved parameter to understand literature, literary creativity, and how our thought processes have evolved, if we have to understand in the context of contemporary times, then OSINT becomes very important. So what we, we study, for example, we take EPIC. This is what we have also been doing, even the understanding the very basic notion of EPIC. What is an EPIC? And how internet and other sources are using the world? There we actually reflect upon how society and societal processes are happening related to the themes that are part of literature. So part of literature means literary creativity. What is literary creativity? Something that does not exist, yet is based on facts. Like we are talking about two wars today. We have talked about today two wars which are happening in present time. If you go a little bit back, you will find other great thinkers who have written in certain backgrounds. Most of the novels, etc., whatever you take, you write in certain background. The background mostly are turbulent backgrounds. They are not very comfortable backgrounds. You take the Homer, for example. Now, Homer, it's not something uh, uh, that people are uh, living on the bed of roses and then they, they, at that point they are writing. It's a very turbulent time. So in the turbulent time, a certain reflection and certain reaction of humankind comes. So you can find there would be literature written maybe in the uh, background of 9-11 as it happened in US. There would be a certain emotional response to that that is not always necessarily rational. Rational you can talk in terms of scientific uh, uh, production. But when there are emotional reactions to the situations, then how do we understand how people understand? There is an academic way to understand. But there is a common people's reaction. That common people's reaction and common people's understanding is what constitutes epics in formation in every time. So epics cannot be attributed to a particular point. And that we have seen, that when we talk of the epics from uh, 14th, 15th century onwards, you see different societies have reacted to epic formation in different ways. We have seen that French society reacted differently. There are hardly any epics, but some societies reacted in a different man ma manner, for example, the English societies. So what mattered at that point of time was this OSINT, whatever be the level of OSINT at that point of time. Shakespeare, for example, he was a, uh, a writer of very popular drama. He was not writing something for great minds of his time. Because every mind was great. Every mind reflects. Every mind, every soul has a reaction, has an emotion, an emotional reaction. And in literature, we have to understand that. So at this point, when, as we have been talking, that we are digitally connected. We are living in, a, in an age which digital humanities have come to a certain stage. And if we are talking of that, whether we talk of uh, literature, but we will be talking of ecology, we'll be talking of geography, we'll be talking of our relationship with others and with ourselves as well. So how do we connect and how do we understand what others are thinking? Academic responses are there, but equally important are non-academic responses. We have a very important challenges before us. For example, science is very important and science gives you a lot of knowledge, but how to translate that knowledge to the people? how people react to the scientific understanding. Now the OSINT and how each and every topic is being reacted upon, is being reflected upon by the people. This is what makes this tool, which is not a strictly very academic tool, but it is a very important tool to understand literature, literariness and literary creativities at various levels in our times. So th this is how uh, we have uh, conceptualized this uh, uh, class today. And you can see how much you have done it. We have not done the evaluation, but the evaluation is equally an important part. And this aspect mostly is missing from our regular classrooms because we leave evaluation to a certain academic processes. Those processes may have certain background, may have certain historical um, uh, understanding, but at the same time, we have other people reacting to us. And this has happened in history. For example, 
just prior to this class you have or you have a course on devotional literature let's say bhakti movement poets now they are mostly considered to be illiterates the poets are considered to be often illiterates but they are reflecting upon very important and great uh, philosophical thoughts there are important questions that they are asking so it is open source they, they may not have gone to a school to a study but the basic reflections are there and this is where we have to integrate our understanding to a larger level and the open source intelligence is a very important tool then with our own intelligence and with some academic rigor bringing in or as per the requirements we can further go to the evaluation of the um, sources that we have taken uh, the five parameters that we have written here so but that is a later phase we may take it up later okay thank you anything else any other questions etc or comments Okay, you see the five important parameters that we have written, it is now highlighted. That is very important. Keep these parameters and you can further search, you can further create parameters also if you find something more because it is open source. Okay, and intelligence is a very large term. Okay, all of us are intelligent. <laughs> okay, so you, have, you can find something that we may not think. You can see nowadays researchers being written on blogs, blogs related to certain fields. Okay, why? Because they are very important reflections of the way we are thinking in a society or as a society. Okay, so thank you. If anything else uh, anybody would like to uh, comment upon or uh, any questions, then uh, we are here to take, otherwise we stop. <laughs>